follow this bike right here. Hey folks, Harley Day Rider back at you here. Indian demo days, still in Latrobe. This is a 2016 Indian Vintage. Now they really didn't do anything different to this model. Um, I can tell you uh, a couple things about it. It again has a 110 cubic inch engine. It's the closest thing you're going to ride that feels like the Harley Heritage. Uh, it, it's, it's built, you know, it's, it's funny how closely these uh, manufacturers are copying each other's models, the way they're set up. It is a six speed. It does have an RPM tack down here on the, on the tank, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of a digital RPM tack. Uh, my electric glide doesn't have any, so I don't really worry about it. I can listen to the engine and know when to shift. You don't have to be looking down all the time and say, oh, I'm at 3000 RPMs, I gotta shift. That's not the case. I do like that they do have the cruise control on here. I told you that the uh, Heritage uh, now has a cruise control, which I think is a really big deal for long trips. Uh, it does have floorboards. Nice, they put the nice wide floorboards on there, the long ones that the uh, uh, that the Victories have. So if you need a lot of foot room, if you have big feet, this is a nice bike for you. It has a big tall windshield. It's not retractable, you can't do anything with it. There's no stereo system. Uh, so it's just you and your motorcycle when you're out riding this bike. Um, what else does it have? That's about it. That's the big thing. It's a cruise control, a fuel gauge up here. So you can see the fuel gauge very easily there. And uh, uh, the digital gear indicator, which you know that I truly am a fan of. I do like that. But you should know what gear you're in when you're riding a motorcycle. You know, don't go riding around and be like, what gear am I in? Uh, you know... And I know when you go to downshift, they're like, where am I at? What gear am I in? Uh, these bikes, I'm in fifth gear right now, just motoring around. So I really enjoy that. Can't get my strap down on my glove. There we go. So anyway, uh, what can I say about it? It's a wonderful ride, beautiful motorcycle. Um, if you're into the fairings, like, you know, like my electric light, and I'm kind of, you know, I was just talking to a gentleman, and he said, I don't really want a stereo on my motorcycle, because I, I wouldn't listen to it anyway. You want to listen to the bike and listen to the sounds outside. But when you go on trips, like we went to Roar on the Shore, and you're going down, you know, an interstate for hours on end, it's nice to have a stereo to kick on. Just, in, you know, I guess what I'm saying is I'd rather have that option than not have that option. Of course, you can put, you know, the stereo systems on these bikes, and, and they're really nice, and you can hear them. We, we have a couple friends now that have those, and, and they're very, very nice. Um, but the other thing I told him, I said, that, you know, with the Chieftain I rode, and I rode the, uh, 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 the Roadmaster, I don't know why Indians not putting navigational systems standard on their bikes. I think that would be a big deal. They should have those standard on their motorcycles. Um, it's, you know, I think that's the selling point that Harley's having right now with the, um, uh, with the, uh, the street glide and, and, you know, the road glide. I think the road glide has it. I know the street glide has it. It's uh, having that standard built in, you know. They also have it on the other one, the electric glide, the ultras, you know. They have uh, the standard uh, GPS, and it, it is a big deal in these days. I don't know. I mean... You can always put your phone on. That's what I did on my electric glide because it does not have, you know, mine's a 2011, so it does not have a built-in GPS on it. But uh, the phone works fine, so you can put a phone on this handlebars. Um, I don't see any plug-in. I'll have to investigate that when I get back. I don't see anywhere where, you know, a phone would plug into this bike. And if you're looking at the black thing up on front, that is not the case. That is actually... That is actually a, um, the, the uh, hazard lights. So I don't see anything on this bike that would indicate that would indicate that uh, that would indicate it that the um, 
uh, what am I trying to say here? That would indicate that there is anywhere on here where you can actually plug a phone in. So you can add that though. I mean, that's not a big deal. The bikes all have a lot of get up and go, a lot of power on them. They all handle extremely well in the bends. I've been watching a lot of videos on the Chieftain and even Sean spoke to this and I, I mean I haven't found it to be the case I mean granted Sean is a much better rider than I am I really respect the guy uh, for what he does how he rides but they're explaining somewhere the bike will not hold its line when you're going around a bend so I guess I kind of can I, I kind of can second that because I did see that like when you take a bend you know you had to kind of work it to stay within your line a little bit uh, they say the Harley bikes, you know, and I know my bike, when I pick a line in the road and, and make my bend, it just kind of stays where I put it. So that might be a thought, but, um, and it could be different tires on these bikes too in the 2016s. I don't know. I can't really tell you if it is or not. So, but the, yeah, it rides extremely well. But yeah, you should, like I said, I, knew, I just knew I was going down to first gear. You can feel first gear clunk in. You can feel when first gear pops in there. It does have one of those double turn signals. Can you see that? That's what the other bikes all used to have on them. And I really, really don't like that. It looks like your hazards are on. Instead of a turn signal. They should have separate lights for that. But that's nothing you can't get over. That's little stuff. You know. These are all these bikes. All the big touring bikes they have are keyless bikes. So they all had fobs. So you don't need a key to start them. Again, when you walk away from the bike, when you walk away from the bike, you um, it won't start. So it's like a security system. They do have ABS braking, um, which I can't say that I'm a fan or not of because I've never really had a motorcycle with ABS to know if I like it or not. Uh, you know, my bike is pretty standard. I can stop it when I want to stop it. All right, so anyway, that's about all I got to say about that. So this again is the 2016 Indian Vintage. Uh, very nice bike, very nice ride. Hopefully I get a chance to ride the Classic and report on that. We'll see what happens. I think we'll take a break after this one, get something to eat, and uh, then we'll go back to riding a couple more. As long as the rain holds up, it's supposed to rain today. So we'll see how that goes and see if it does rain or not. So. can't really shut the camera off here so you get to deal with me for a couple of seconds here until we clear this stop sign here so I can shut the camera off but yeah so it's the Indian demo days again we're at A and A cycle in Latrobe Pennsylvania about an hour and a half from our house I told you guys that before and yeah and I don't feel so bad we met a guy that was here yesterday and today and he was also here all three days back in June when they had this, when we came up before to ride the 2015 models. Uh, the main reason we came is not to just ride the bikes again, but they're 2016 models, and I felt... Whoa, dude. And I felt I wanted to report to you on the 2016 models and do one of my little Demo Day mini-series. So, all right, guys, well, I'll cut back out of here. Harley Day Rider, down and out in the Trobe, Pennsylvania, on the Indian Vintage. Hey guys, Harley Day Rider back at you. Still in a lovely 2016 Indian Vintage. I did want to report of one thing I noticed. Uh, I don't know what kind of shocks are used on these bikes. But the shocks feel incredibly comfortable. You know, like when it doesn't bottom out or anything when you're going over bumps and stuff. It's all three bikes I've ridden so far, the Vintage, the Chieftain, and the Roadmaster. Um, that's one thing I didn't report, and I, I guess because it wasn't an issue, you know. You know, when I went to the Harley Demo days, if you remember those ones, you'll know that um, I was complaining about some of the shocks on those bikes hitting the railroad tracks and bouncing all over the place and hurt my back but these have been incredible shocks and, and I don't know what like I said I don't know what they have on these but I would like to find out so I can put a set on my electroglide 
That would be super nice. But yeah, I'm not sure which the shocks are. Um, but they are very, very comfortable shocks. And I don't think I'll be reporting that same thing on the um, you know, on the scouts. But uh, overall though, the, I mean, the, the travel of the shocks is nice. Uh, they're comfortable, they're not banging me all around, I'm not hurting my back. So I just wanted to throw that out there to you. Harley Day Rider, once again, down and out in Latrobe, Pennsylvania on the 2016 Indian Vintage.